Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hi to all of you So let's continue our discussion on Fourier transform So in this video we will uh, discuss property number 6 Which is uh, time differentiation So what it means that if we have uh, a signal xt in time domain And then we do differentiation in time domain Which is if we have a differentiator system and then xt as the input and then the output of our differentiator is equal to yt equal to dxt dt so this is in time domain so when we differentiate in time domain so we will have uh, this this uh, input and output relation which is we have xt and then yt is equal to dxt dt where we differentiate our input so the most interesting part in these properties is that we will look in in term of uh, the signal in frequency domain so what will happen when we differentiate in time domain so we have xt equal to x omega and then when we do differentiation in time domain which is yt as the output and then y omega which is the Fourier transform for our output this will, will be equal to j omega x omega so meaning that in frequency domain so what we need to do is just when we do differentiation in time domain we just need to multiply with j omega our input signal x omega is very simple ok so just multiply with j omega Right. So let's do one example on how we can use these properties to find uh, our uh, our Fourier transform. Okay. So for example over here, so we are given x t equal to e negative two t u t, and x omega equal to one over two plus j omega. And then we need to find what is the Fourier transform for differentiation of xt. Okay, so we need to find the Fourier transform of differentiation of uh, xt, which is this one. So based on uh, properties uh, number six, which is time differentiation properties of Fourier transform, as we know Fourier transform for dxt is equal to j omega x omega. So for example, we have a differentiator as system. And then the input is our xt signal, xt, which is equal to uh, e negative 2t. And then the output of the system will be equal to yt equal to uh, dt, which is this one is x xt. Okay, so in frequency domain, so we have x omega. And then this will be equal to 1 over 2 plus j omega, which is given in the equation. Okay, so what happened is that for the output, okay, frequency response, if frequency response is equal to, okay, which is based on our time differentiation uh, properties. So y omega is equal to j omega x omega, okay, which is this is the x dt. So y omega is the one that we want we want to find. Okay, y omega. So in order to have this, so we must uh, know what is our x omega, which is we have already over here. So we can just plug into this equation to find our y omega, which is this equal to j omega, and then multiply with one over two plus j omega okay this one so we can have this so we have j omega divided by 2 plus j omega so this is our Fourier transform for dx uh, t dt okay so let's do uh, another question Okay, for example, you are given a signal, okay, which is this one. A 
Okay, we are given a signal uh, XT. And then we need to find what is Fourier transform for XT. So we want to find what is our Fourier transform for uh, XT. That is what we want to find. Find the Fourier transform of the signal given below using time differentiation property. So that means we want to find Fourier transform of our XT. Okay, which is this is X omega. Right? So we need to use uh, time differentiation uh, properties. So since we use this, so we need to differentiate our signal. Okay, which is uh, we will differentiate in in time domain. So x t. So this will give us. Okay, so we can divide into part by part. Okay, so for this one, so we have over here positive 1 and then the amplitude is 1 and then this will be uh, negative 2 and then for this one this part this will be equal to 0 because dx t dt for uh, constant 1 is equal to 0 so we have 0 and then differentiation of this uh, this uh, triggering okay this will be negative 1 because it goes down. So we have uh, negative 1. Okay. And then for this one also, so we will have this one. So we will have negative 1, which is 1. And then the next will be this one. We will have uh, positive 1 for t equal to 2. Okay. So we have this one. Okay, so we can represent this. This is the x t dt. This we can represent for this one, which is delta t plus 2. And then for this one is plus delta t minus 1. Okay, which is plus 1, sorry. And then this one is plus delta t uh, minus 1. Okay. And then for this one is plus delta t minus minus 2. Right? So, so we have already this one. And then we will use differentiation uh, properties. Okay? Which is this one. Okay? So we need to differentiate this. Okay? And then we will have j omega. Right? So we need to differentiate this. And then we will have j omega. So we uh, we we will uh, do Fourier transform for this one. So Fourier transform for this, and then also Fourier transform for this one, right? As we know, okay, Fourier transform for this one, which is this one, okay, equal to uh, j omega. So we have x t. So meaning that we have x omega. Okay, this will be equal for this one. So, we need to check our Fourier transform table. Okay, so this is a delta function. So, we need to check our delta function, delta t. And then, Fourier transform for delta t is equal to, to 1. However, we have delta t plus 2, meaning that this is time shifting uh, properties. Okay, time shifting properties of Fourier transform so to if you check the properties for time shifting properties which is this one so we will have e negative j omega t naught which is t naught is depend on uh, our value of this one okay all right so our t naught for this one will be equal to negative 2 Okay, so we can use this. So we have E J omega T naught X omega. Okay, so in this case, our T naught is equal to uh, negative 2. So we have E negative J omega negative 2. Okay, and then we have X omega which is uh, our for Fourier transform for delta T is equal to 2 1. Right? And then plus with E, same thing, this one is uh, shifting. 
Okay, so we have this one will be equal to negative j omega minus 1. Okay, and then of course, okay, for delta omega, okay, the Fourier transform is equal to 1. And then if we, we continue, this will give us plus, okay, for this one, we have e negative j omega multiplied by 1, and then multiplied by 1 because of Fourier transform for delta t is equal to 1. And then lastly, we have e negative j omega multiplied with 2, and then multiplied with 1. So we have over here e negative j omega. Okay, and then which is this will be equal to plus, okay, for this one, and then plus e j omega, and then plus e negative j omega, and then plus e negative j omega multiplied with 2, right? So, we need to rearrange uh, this uh, equation, okay? So, we have j omega x omega, this will be equal to e j omega 2 plus e j omega plus e negative j omega plus e negative j omega 2. So, we rearrange this equation. So, e j omega with e j omega, we can put side by side. So, we have j omega 2 and then plus e negative j omega 2 and then plus e j omega plus e negative j omega. So, we can use a uh, Euler relation, okay? So that we can represent our case, our exponential, uh, complex exponential in terms of uh, cosine. Okay, so this one, into change into cosine, we need to have half over here. So what we need to do is that very simple. So we have 2 divided by 2, okay? And then multiply with j omega 2, okay, plus e negative j omega 2, okay? This one. And then the same. Uh, we do for uh, e j omega plus e j negative e negative j omega so e j omega plus e negative j omega right so half will be inside of this uh, equation okay so we will have 2 and then half e j omega 2 plus e negative j omega 2 right and then plus 2 okay half e j omega plus e negative j omega right this one so this will give us cos so that means we have 2 cos 2 omega plus okay 2 cos omega right okay so this will give us uh, 2 and then cos 2 omega plus cos omega so to find our x omega okay so we need to just divide our equation, uh, equation over here with 2 omega, right? And then divide with j omega. So this is our Fourier transform for x omega, which is we calculated, calculated using uh, differentiation properties of Fourier transform. Hopefully you can understand. And then, uh, inshallah, we will do another example on time differentiation, okay, in the next video. And then, thanks for watching, and bye.